Ladies and gents, welcome back to Rockabye Records. This is Off The Record, a podcast made by your favourite local record shop. Uh, we're based in the small county of Rutland in a tiny town called Oakham, and uh, we sell records and we absolutely love it. Um, I'm joined again by my favourite people. This is Chris, that's Tom, and right dad himself, my dad Dean. Good Hello. Evening. How are you doing? You all right? <laughs> yes, I'm very good. Well. Yeah, yeah, we're Excellent. all good. We start these exactly the same every, oh, no, every single... Do. You know, I've yeah. never seen you have that bit written down either at the start. No, no, no. You, what, you just say this, it. What's this again? Yeah, yeah. I just found this in a white album. I don't know what it's for. <laughs> 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 yeah, they keep on, um, yeah, they keep on taking the mick out of me. Um... <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you just joined us for the first time, um, welcome. This is, uh, we do one of these every, every week. We try to get these out every Monday and, um, we've been pretty consistent with it so far and we've had loads of people tuned in, um, and loads of people writing comments to us. Um, and you know, thanks, thanks for joining us. Um, if you're, if you're back again for, for a second time or, or you've been watching all of them, we thank you again for, for joining us. We really appreciate it. And, you know, we, we do this for the love of it and we do this cause we, we love music and we love talking about stuff, and um, and these guys love it as well. Oh, we yeah, we love it, don't we? Love, love talking about it. music, and all right, yeah. And we love it when people come in the shop and just talk about music. You know, it's even better when they buy something, but absolutely. <laughs> but yeah. you know, people do come in just to have a little chat about music, don't they? Yeah, so. uh, which is good. You yeah. know, that's, that's, what, what, that's what we're here for. Don't buy anything. Just to, just just come in here and have a, have, a, have a chat with us. Just and learn, you know. learn something new. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. what? Just learn something new. Yeah, something new. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. Cool. So, um. For those that have been keeping up to date with our TikToks and Facebook, we put out a list this week um, that was compiled by Rolling Stone magazine of the top debut albums of all time. Debut albums. Debut albums. So the first, first album raw. that this artist yep. would have released. Yeah. And... Um, Caused up a bit of a stir, as the Rolling Stone magazine usually does. I swear they do it on purpose. I think so, yeah. I think they go, this will have them. Go on, stick yeah. that one in. Yeah. This will have them. Yeah. Stick that one in. Yeah. Hey, you seen this? Yeah. <laughs> have you heard this one? Yeah. Um, lots, of, lots of comments about um, who was on there and why they were on there and what what right people had to be on on that list um, mm. and that kind of thing. So I thought we'd just uh, divulge the list and uh, and chat about it. Sounds because, um, well, do you want to tell people about your your uh, album a day um, oh, thing? Because you you did some you did some on the on your little challenge yeah. that you've been doing. Yeah. So well, last week. Well, yeah. For those that don't know, I'm listening to an album a day in 2024, and last week, week 12, we did all debut albums. Mm -hmm. So all of them, every single one, every single one of the seven, I listened to were debut albums, and ones that I've never listened to before in my life. So. What do we have on Monday? We had Velvet Underground and Nico. Yeah. I've never done that before. We had um, King King Crimson. King, yeah, Caught yeah. the Crimson King. We had The Strokes. We had Judy Sills. Judy Sills, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, like that. Nice. Love that. Nice. Love that. Um, and some others. I can't remember which other ones we listened to. Oh, The Cars we listened to. Cars, good, good yeah. Good album. So, yeah, listen to some debut albums. Mm. And... Another one that we're going to bring up in a minute, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We listen to it, yeah. Yeah. So, for those that haven't seen haven't seen the list, um, should we just go through it quickly? Just break it down, just bang it out. Go on. Yeah. So ten we'll go one. from we'll go from oh, going to ten. We'll go from yeah. We'll go from number one. So number one is Ramones. Ramones, um, self titled, um, nineteen seventy six. Mm -hmm. um, that was classed as the best debut album of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. That's every single debut album taken into consideration. Yeah, every single one taken into consideration. <laughs> all right, that we'll get top, to that. Keep going. <laughs> that, that topped the list. Um, we've got the Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die, 1994. Um, classic, classic hip-hop album. Mm. Um, mentioned already, Velvet Underground um, is number three. Velvet Underground and Nico. Wu Tang Clan, Enter the Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers. You said okay. that on the on the on the video, oh, no, and uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't realise. So I yeah. apologise to all those people that I offended by saying it was wrong. Because um, um, yeah, the Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers. Yeah, it's technically called. Uh, yeah, it's technically both names. So um, <coughs> yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, caught me out on that. Uh, Patty Smith, Horses, um, at number five. Jimi Hendrix, Experience. Are you experienced? Uh, number six. Um, Billy Eilish, when we all fall asleep, where do we go? Yeah, 2019. <laughs> 2019, that was. 
Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, number eight. Um, number nine, The Clash, um, with their self-titled, 1979. And finally, number ten, the one that we weren't expecting, Liz Fair, Exile in Guyville, 1993. Mm. Those are the top ten. What a list that is, isn't it? Yeah. As in, I think random... It's really, really varied. Yeah. Like, if I think if any other magazine did a list, like if we took something like Kerrang! or Nevermind, uh, uh, never mind, uh, NME or something, you would have a way, way different list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, the only one that I, well, I mean, I probably wouldn't even put it on there myself because it's not my type of music, it'd be the Appetite for Destruction. Well, so I can I, sort of see that. I can see that being on there. I can see Notorious B.I.G. being on there. Yeah. And Jimi Hendrix. Are you and Jimi Hendrix, yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are the, yeah, those are the three. I, I think they're the three. That I could, I could work my way into putting them into my own top ten. Mm. Well, you can tell by the way that I'm keeping quiet that I was speechless. Yeah, yeah. Right, mm. and still am speechless about mm -hmm. that list. You know, but we'll get into it and we'll we'll dissect it and yeah. you know as we go through because there I think it's are. Bonkers. I think that, it's a bonkers list. Top ten debut albums of all time ever. Right, yeah. ever. So yeah. every artist. It's a, it's a so, history of life. I will, I will, I will, music. I will, yeah. life. <laughs> I will, I will God, tell you what I think when you ask me, <laughs> all right, because, yeah. all right, so, so please, yeah. you know. Okay, so number one, Ramones, have you, have you listened to the Ramones, because personally, I've never heard that, I've never heard the album. Yeah, I've listened to it, not, you know, I listened to it a few years ago, mm -hmm. um, it's all right, is yeah. it the greatest debut album of all time? Absolutely not. No. I don't think so. Anyway, well, as I said, I've never listened to it. I've um, I've heard a few tracks off it, um, and I know how influential Ramones are. Yeah, and how how much they kind of impacted the punk scene, and you know the yeah the scene the scene that they kind of yeah they're just super super influential. Yeah, and they've inspired a lot of other artists. So I can kind of get it from that from that side of things. But as I said, I can't can't judge it too much because I haven't heard it. Have you listen to it? Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. But whenever I think about um, a debut album, I always think about how much of an impact it has made on the music industry and the music scene and how it's, inv it's influenced people into, um, you know, make, uh, loving music and going and and starting maybe a new genre if you like yeah. do you know what i mean yeah um i thought when i heard the ramones i thought wait a minute it's all been done before mate do you know what i mean because yeah. iggy yeah. pop was doing it the, yeah. the the new york dolls were doing it Even and, and bowie you, yeah and Ziggy bowie was doing it was and you think it, wait it? a minute yeah is this, does this deserve to be the best album of all time? We're talking of all time. Mm -hmm. Best okay? debut album. Debut best album. debut album Every of all time. Every debut and album considered. Yeah. Yeah. I struggle with that. I can see it being in the top 10, mm -hmm. but I, 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 number one, I can't, I, 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 shout, I, I struggle with that because that's a big shout. Well, I think if, if I was to put it into perspective of, of the kind of, of, a, of a similar, similar vibe, we can't discount Sex Pistols. No, well, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because that's again one of those one of those albums where it it changed a lot, mm. didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, it changed. It. If you if you go, <laughs> I'm going to go on a rant now. Go on. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So security to our one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when you, when you think about influential and when you think about making an impact, right? 1956 comes along. Elvis Presley brings out Rock and Roll Number One, and the whole of music changes. Mm -hmm. Right, it all started with Elvis, right? And when you look, all right, there were all covers, right? So maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't on the list because they were all covers, all right, and they were all stuff written for him, right? And I and I and I think most of those albums, or if not all of those albums, have got self penned. Um, right songs yeah okay so Elvis kind of gets out on a loophole because mm -hmm. he didn't write any of the stuff himself but the impact that Presley made with Rock Around Number One the whole of the music industry changed yeah yeah 
And I find that hard that that's that Elvis Presley that Rock Around Number One isn't in the top ten. Yeah. Yeah. I find I find I find that really really hard to believe yeah. because if it hadn't been for Elvis, the Ramones wouldn't be here. If, if it a, hadn't been for Elvis, the Sex Pistols wouldn't be here. Have you got a top 100 there? The, the, it's, the list is a top 100, so I can search for stuff. Have a look, and, yeah. have a look see okay. where Elvis sits. Right. It's not on the list. It's not on the list. Not not in the top on, Elvis not, Presley is not in the top, one, not 100. In the top 100. Not in the top 100. He's in my top three. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but that's load, that is a load of bollocks. I'm sorry. <laughs> it really is. Of, because because, because, bollocks, because yeah. it is. I mean, for impact... Yeah. And for, do you know what, in, I mean, obviously we weren't around in 56, right? But I know that when you talk to people, everybody wanted to be like Elvis. Everybody. you, The whole of the music changed mm. because of Elvis Presley. Like there's no, you, there's no argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there, there is, and if you want to argue with me, I will argue until I'm blue in the face. There is no and argument. Win. Hey? And win. Yeah, there is no argument. Yeah. Okay, Presley changed everything yeah. because before that we were listening to um, Perry Como, Frank Sinatra, Doris Day. We were listening to Sid Lawrence. We were listening to the Jerry Dorsey Orchestra, and then Elvis comes along with Heartbreak Hotel in '56, and the whole world changed. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to be like Elvis. Yeah, well, yeah. And he, took, he crossed genres, didn't he? Yeah. Elvis did. He took blues and he took gospel, yeah. and John and he took everything. John Lennon said, "Before Elvis, there was nothing." Right, and we owe our whole. It's Lennon, you know, and then Not anyone, <laughs> it just, it's just, there's, there's no argument. Yeah. There is, there, there isn't an argument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if I wasn't an Elvis fan, there'd be no argument. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because he changed everything. Mm. And for it not to be on the top, t top 100, it's, that's, that's blasphemy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that, that similar sort of era, um, Chuck Berry. The Chuck Berry. He obviously would. His, I think his first album was called One Dozen Berries, I think. One Dozen Berries. Not there, no, is it? Not in, no. not in the list either. No, of course, it's not. No. <laughs> no. So yeah, so, um, yeah, I f yeah it's, it's a bit of a weird one to have at number one. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Mm -hmm. I think it is because, like, like Dan said, I think Nevermind the Bollocks deserves to be there. If you're going to choose a punk album, Nevermind the Bollocks deserves to be there. Yeah. So Nevermind yeah. is is on the list. Um, Whereabouts? It is number twenty three. Twenty three. So yeah, <coughs> I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> if, if in terms of influential, I think, I think um, it's not, it's not my kind of music, but it is, it, it changed a lot. You know, we were without without Sex Pistols, we probably wouldn't have bands like Nirvana and Green Day and Oasis. And you wouldn't Oasis. have Oasis with yeah. that, with the, with yeah, that, even you know? eighties stuff. You know, yeah, you have Oasis, uh, Oasis, yeah, eighties <laughs> punk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You the, no, you wouldn't the jam, have them. That no. sort of thing. Yeah, no, you the wouldn't. jam. Um, you know, even little like Elvis Costello and all these kind of punky. Yeah, yeah. Fact, how many people are wearing? How many kids are wearing Never Mind the Bollocks t-shirts compared to how many are wearing Ramones t-shirts? Yeah, yeah. At yeah. the minute, that for influence on yeah. music. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I know it's always like you see them all wearing Never Mind t-shirts, and you say. Name me a song that's... Name a Nirvana song. Name a Nirvana song that <laughs> yeah. song smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, I just think it should be high. I think 23 years. Yeah. That's harsh. Yeah. yeah. To be the mm. 23rd best ever of every album ever made. Yeah. That's debut, debut album. sorry. Yeah. Debut album ever made. Yeah. And you're disappointed to be 23rd. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's talk about number two then. Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die. So I've never listened to this album. No? No, I haven't listened to it. Um, I know that I probably should, mm -hmm. but I haven't really done much of that. Uh, what sort of era? Well, not what era. What sort of uh, America is he? Um, not like West Coast, is it? Yeah, he's um, yeah, it's West. Two pack. Uh, yeah, yeah, story, yeah, yeah. It's all, thing, yeah. it's all. It's um, N all. NWA. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which again, I'd I'd put in the top ten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Is yeah. I don't know a lot about it. NWA's debut album straight out. Come. Yeah, but do you know what? I'm just gonna double check because if I get it wrong. People are gonna, people are gonna go crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I do love, I do love that album anyway. Um, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton is unbelievable. Well, Ready to Die is also debut is, studio album. Yeah, yeah. yeah so well, straight, straight out of Compton, Compton is NWA. For, yeah, NWA. Yeah, yeah. Again, and, yeah. influential. The Notorious B.I.G. was very, very, very influential. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot. Yeah, yeah. In a, yeah. This. In, um, 
Notorious. It's really good. Is it? Yeah. 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 I can see. Um, I can. I can see. I can understand why without even listening to it. Yeah. Um, mm. I can. Yeah. No. It. It. I mean, he's. He was influential. I think. I think when you when you think of people who he's who he's inspired, um, obviously, P Diddy, you mm-hmm. know, and yeah, Kanye. Song. And Kendrick Lamar, they're all yeah, yeah. very, Jay-Z very, well. very, yeah, yeah Jay Z, they're all very, very notorious B.I.G. fans. Mm-hmm. You know they are. They're, yeah. And he's, he inspired them. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean. In- inspiration, you're yeah, yeah. innovative, and you've created this kind of new genre and revolutionized. You've revolutionized yeah. that mm-hmm. kind of, you've revolutionized that, that genre, you've made mm-hmm. it a tiny little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said to me yesterday um, in the shop, they said, um, you know, sometimes you can hear a record, but then somebody brings, adds a bit of colour to mm. it. And I like that because, you know, it's, you add a bit of colour to it. And you think, hey, wait a minute, this is cool, isn't it? Adds a bit of spice. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, I'll have to listen to it. I, I do want to listen to Notorious. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. Very, um, yeah. Old, old school, real, real hip hop. Like, yeah. Yeah, down, back to its back to its like is there a core. Bit of swearing in it. Oh, there's a little bit. Yeah. 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 Of course. Wouldn't, well, yeah. Wouldn't, yeah. Be, wouldn't be wouldn't be without, would it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we listen to uh, Dr. Dre, two thousand and one. Right, yeah. It's a great album, but I don't in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With school, all in yeah. there. And every now and again he'd look at me like, Daddy, swear swear it again. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you listening to this, Daddy? <laughs> yeah. Yes or no? I'm listening to it. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Album. Whack it up. Yeah. 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 Just put your head. Put your head defenders, put your head defenders on. on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Number three, the Velvet Underground. I'm. I'm not surprised Rolling Stone picked this. Pick this because it seems mm. to be on a lot of their lists. Yeah. So this um, was an album that we I listened to last week. Yeah. For yeah. the first time. Have you ever listened to it? Yeah. No, I don't like it. Have you listened to it? No. Never. I'm never sorry, listened I, to it. I, 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 hey, listen. I'm a record show. Listen to it. Yeah, I listened to I'm it. A- I followed the album a day. I listened to it and I didn't like it. And I often wonder, is it so high and so appreciative just because of the iconic cover? That's, lead, that's what artwork. I thought, yeah. 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 Andy thought, Warhol. I've seen people. Yeah, yeah I've seen people. No, I, I'm, go on, you go. Go on. I'm a record shop owner and I should like it, mm-hmm. right? But I'm going to be very controversial here. I don't like it. I think that it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of a few of the tracks. It's, it's a lot of noise, and it's 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 just. I don't. I don't. I don't I, I, the first two tracks sounded kind of a little bit Rolling Stones meets Bowie esque mm. early yeah, yeah. stuff. I thought I could get into this. Here we go. This this would be nice. And the rest of the album just went off on this weird guitars way out of tune. Really like bad out of tune on a few of the tracks, and then there's one it's a heroin. Off that album, and then there's another one, two two tracks from the end. I can't remember what it's called. Something black, black murder or something like that. Right. I'm gonna look it up. Mm. <laughs> but that was who was the lead singer? Was it Lou Reed? Lou, Lou, Reed, Lou yeah. Reed. Yeah. See, I do. I've I've listened to um, what's the famous Lou Reed album? Black Angels Death Song. Oh yeah, that one. I'm not even gonna. There's a famous Lou Reed album. Oh, Transformer. 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 Can we play music on it? Other songs? No. Yeah. <laughs> other, songs, other songs are available. Yes, yeah. yeah. Is that the one with the yellow and black yeah, yeah. sleeve? Yeah. yeah, Goldie Goldie Black, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a fantastic oh, right. album. That is a good album. That's a, yeah. I had Street Hassle on in here on, on the weekend. Um, somebody came in and traded it in for a... For a and I, oh, I've listened to this. I quite like that. Street Hassle's a great album. Yeah. You know, and, and Transformer is superb. Yeah, yeah. That's the one with... Um, they could walk on the wild. Yeah, right? wild side <laughs> and... Um, and the yeah. other one, what's the other Perfect famous day. one? Perfect, Perfect day. day. Oh, lovely song, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, really, really lovely song. Great album. But yeah, so... He's, going he's, back to it, does this album influence a lot of people? Yes, I would yeah, imagine it does. It does. It I imagine it, it does. Yeah, don't take our word for it. <laughs> it, influenced, it, yeah, ob- yeah. it obviously influenced, you know, because like but I said... Going back to it, like, Bowie. Like I've said yeah. before, the New York Dolls. You yeah. know, it, they, they've got everything about the Velvet Underground is the New York Dolls, you know? And yeah. Iggy, Iggy Pop Iggy is Pop. very, very, very... Well, yeah. Lou Reed, Bowie, and Iggy Pop did did the Berlin Berlin together, didn't they? And yeah. they did they produced what five albums between them, was it? Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. Here's a weird bit of uh, bit of trivia for you. In oh. Nottingham, a few years ago, well, probably about ten years ago now, um, they put on a festival, and Macaulay Culkin did a did a set, at one of the small venues, as in like 
smaller than this shop. Wow. Right, really, really small. Probably probably 30 people there. And he did a cover band of the Velvet Underground, and he called it the Pizza Underground. And he had he did songs by the Velvet Underground, and he sang, and he played a pizza box with a drumstick. <laughs> Look look on YouTube for videos that of it. That sounds very it is the weirdest. Culkin. It is the weirdest thing in the world. Yeah. And people people were throwing stuff at him. Like, it was just awful. Yeah, like, really, really bad. Have a look for videos. I'm going to. I'm going to. Was Macaulay I, Culkin... Where was he at his, in his, like, chemical stage oh, of yeah, life yeah. at this point? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, Because I know he's actually... All, like, Macaulay, if you're yeah. watching, then I'll do a podcast. We'll, we'll yeah. have you on here, yeah. wouldn't you, Pete? Well, yeah. 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 um, that sounds amazing. We'll chuck you bits of pizza as well to put into it. But it sounds like a fever dream. Like, it sounds like something I've just made up. Like, I don't have to... Um, yeah, yeah you've, pulled like, names, you've pulled name, item, place. Yeah, just like... <laughs> you've got Nottingham like, with a pizza, like Cluedo. I'm certain it happened, <laughs> but yeah. But I'm also not sure whether Call that will the pizza box the make the Velvet Underground album better <laughs> yeah, or worse. Say, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. <laughs> the Pizza Underground, I'm open. it's called. I'm open. <laughs> yeah. Random. Yeah. It sounds like something I've made up and something that... But looking at the comments from... Um, when we did this album, people love it. Yeah, another day. People go nuts for yeah, it. Yeah, another mm-hmm. go nuts for it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when it first came out in 1967, yeah. it flopped. Yeah, I know. Do you know how many albums they sold in the first two years? Uh, go on, tell me. Uh, probably, um, the way you're first talking two about... two years. 12,000. 30,000. Right. 30,000, which, you know, of the era, 1967, yeah. Yeah. it's nothing. Like you say, when, when you know... It, when you're competing it, it against... Became, it probably became more but now, famous... Yeah. All holes gone, isn't it? Well, how much does a first press in Velvet Underground go for? Uh, American press with the with the unpeeled banana. I've seen them go for four grand. Four grand. Wow! So that's one yeah. of the thirty thousand. Yeah, is but you know what? You know what? The, the, it's, it's a bit like the um. Ah, oh, that was you know when you we'll when go you... back to the unpeeled banana bit. In yeah. A yeah, I'm there. Go, <laughs> yeah. Unpeeled banana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, of a, all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, get it in there, top ten. <laughs> unpeeled banana. Yeah. What, what does that mean? I don't, I don't know. It, well, there's a banana on the front, and yeah, you can yeah. peel it off. And the reason why they peeled it because everybody thought that there was a phallic symbol underneath, but all it was was oh, a pink banana. Heard, oh, right. Okay. Is that where the pink banana? comes That's where from? That's where the pink right. banana comes from. Yeah. So the uh, yellow banana, it, you could peel the peelable. top off. We've got some copies in here where, 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 with the. It's not an original. Um, <laughs> before you start. Yeah, I'm there. Like, yeah. Um, what are we doing here? We've got, <laughs> so we've got, we've got some. Well, you can actually peel the banana off. Right. Okay. Right, but it's just a pink banana underneath. But everybody right. thought that it was kind of like. Have a, you have you ever had? Original one? No, no. I never, never seen one. You never, no. you. They're, they're, they're very, very hard to come. What about by. a, what about a peeled one? A peeled one? Yeah, you can. I think you can get a peeled one for about fifteen hundred. Right. Okay. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Yes. Only fifteen hundred. Yeah. 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 Oh, just I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen them. I've seen them for as. Li- I've seen them as little as five hundred quid, but they, they are. They are, yeah. You know, battered and. Yeah, yeah. You know. what, yeah. What, what label was it on? Verve. Verve. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll look after it. Um, Oh, and What's then the, Verve attached to? Uh, EMI. Is it? Yeah. Cool. An EMI. Because everyone turned them down as well. Yeah. And Verve went, yeah, we'll take a punt on it. Well, this is the reading that I do yeah. when I'm quarter, listening to Quarter to five on a Friday, they went, oh, God, just tell oh, them just, yes, we'll get out. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but you know, table booked. <laughs> but you know why you know it's so, expen- you know so expensive in England, don't you? Because it's never released in England. Oh, is it, is it not? No. Right. Never released. Only released oh, in only, English. Only released. <laughs> only released in America. Got away with that, didn't okay, yeah. yeah. And then they reissued it, and you know, but then yeah. but it was never originally released in England. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. Cool. There you go. Okay, number four, Wu Tang Clan. Into the Wu Tang. Great album. Yeah. Yeah. Have you listened to it? Yeah. Yeah. I've cool. listened to it. Album. I think it's a good album. They, yeah. Um, well, you got it in the shop, didn't you? We listened to it then. I know the the best one was somebody said to me, "Have you heard Thirty Six Chambers?" I went, "You know what? I'm gonna be." Totally honestly, I haven't. No, put it on, man. Put it up. Put that on after you've listened to Naz Ilmatic. Yeah. I went, okay, Naz Ilmatic was a life changer. Yeah, where's that right? on this list? Look, mm. Naz Ilmatic was a, was was a life changing moment for me. The flipping neck. I put on Thirty Six Chambers, and there was <laughs> there was this little old lady come in, and she told me she'd asked me already if I'd um, if I could buy records. And I went, yeah, we do, yeah. And she, just as she was leaving, I put the Wu-Tang Clan on and the lo- I had to turn it off after three seconds because it's, mm. it's, it's a bit explicit. It's a bit explicit. It's a bit explicit. Her ears pricked up. What did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit explicit, but yeah, do you like this album? Yeah, I think I was there when we listened to yeah, it. Listened. Yeah, it's a good I don't album. think I have, to be yeah. honest with you. We'd just done the, we'd just done the um, hip-hop video yeah. on TikTok, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and people were just saying, "Listen to, got to, listen to this, got to listen, listen to, to Atlantic, listen yeah. to Thirty Six Chambers." It was, the, it was the two comments that kind of yeah. 
really really stood Absolutely. out a lot a lot of people were saying yeah. but yeah um yeah we had it on in air when we when we ordered them yeah, yeah. fantastic but you, but, but you know the hip, the hip hop was not my was not my go to genre yeah, yeah. so 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 I, I am still learning a lot about it yeah, yeah. you know and when i said that um Kanye West, you know, my beautiful twisted fantasy was a great album. I got so much flack for it, didn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it is a great it. album. A lot of yeah. people love it. I love it. Yeah, and it's a great album. What's the you saying about influential Wu Tang Clan? That's more gangster rap. Yeah, yeah. As well, isn't it? Mm. As yeah. opposed to just hip hop. It's mm-hmm. like gangster rap. Again, do you think it's um, high on the list related to that? You know, that one singular record. Yeah, I think, like, I think things like that help. I think I think it does help, but I, th- I think I think Wu Tang Clan wouldn't have gotten away with that two million dollar record if they weren't so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, if yeah. they're a rubbish I band, they just are said, yeah. by, there's always something that these <laughs> these are influenced by. Like the White Album, people only really I think um, got into the White Album. <coughs> like it became a hot property when they sold Ringo Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like. Well, oh, I my number. Yeah, oh, white album's worth what? what? Yeah, yeah. It's got a spacer. What? <laughs> yeah. They use it on the podcast as a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Dan Paul thinks it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> and then, mate, with the, with, the, with the Please Please Me album, I've got number 353. Yeah. I know, Picked yeah. it up last week. I thought, flipping heck. Yeah. Now's Illmatic is 31 on the list. That's quite high, isn't it? Quite high, yeah. That's quite high. Yeah. All right. 31. Yes, yeah, so what are we up to? Number five? Horses, um, isn't it? Got? Number five, Patty Smith, Horses. So much punk. An- yeah, another one you did, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's 75, wasn't it? Wasn't it 1975? No, 75, yeah. yeah. I, couldn't, um, I couldn't get along with it. No? Couldn't a get along with it. A lot of people love it. I know, yeah. Like, yeah. Very yeah. high regarded album. Yeah. Iconic album. But is it, be- is it because it's the best sleeve ever? <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. it, isn't it? Apparently another, yeah. it's the best sleeve ever. But it's just her standing there with a yeah. jacket over her shoulder. It was mm-hmm. taken by who? Her boyfriend at the time, wasn't it? Her boyfriend, who was a famous photographer of some kind. Of <laughs> That's some the best kind. sleeve yeah. ever. The last picture yeah. on a disposable and camera. F- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best sleeve ever and the fifth best debut album. What else are they going to throw at us with yeah. Patti Smith? Yeah. It? Go on, just quickly, off, off the bat, off the back of that, what's the best sleeve ever in your opinion? Best sleeve? Oh, God. Have a moment to think about it. Go on, what's the best sleeve ever? Sleeve that I really, 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 really love is Disraeli Gears. Disraeli Gears? I, I, I think the Disraeli Gears cream is a fantastic sleeve. Mm. Tom? No. Um, Five. Four. <laughs> Got one? Axis Boulder's Love. Ooh. Great. It's not. Great. I know it's not making movies by Dire Straits. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clever though, that is. Or White and, Album. And it's not the White Album. Yeah. yeah. That's, even cle- that's even cleverer. Mm. Yeah. Cleverer. <laughs> Um, um, oh, I don't know. London Calling. Yeah, London Calling. With oh, the bass. Yeah. I'm actually good to you've said that now. The sto- yeah, the st- only because the story that goes behind it. With, yeah. Um, they obviously got in the... They, the audience were told they're not allowed to mosh at right. this class show. And they were like, well, this is, a, this is a punk show. You cannot tell them not to mosh. And the security guards had to kept telling them, kept telling them, you're not allowed to mosh, you're not allowed to mosh. Until by the last song, he'd had just enough and he wrapped his bass up and he went like that. And just at that second, someone took a photo. Someone took, took a photo. Someone yeah. took one of the it. best pictures. Took of all the time. best photo yeah. of all time. Mm. The best. Oh, it's giving me goosebumps. Yeah. That's well, great, about the best, yeah. What about the, what, what guy? Come, we had plenty of people coming in. So, what game first then? Rock and Roll number one by Elvis or, yeah. did, um, <laughs> or London Calling? Yeah. Like, like, well, did, Joe Strummer won't even. Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been about six when <laughs> yeah. Rock and Roll yeah. number one came out. Yeah. <laughs> and, I know, yeah. but, and they sold that picture. To the band for sixteen pounds, yeah, something <laughs> like yeah, that. Yeah. Like yeah. Night tick sold for yeah. sold for fifty p or something yeah. like that. And I say it's a cool story. Yeah, it's, it's a good with story, the yeah. album cover and how much oh, I love stuff like how that. much you can capture just in one picture. Yeah, yeah. That's now like one of the most iconic. Mm. Yeah, it's a good story. Ever. Absolutely well, like that. It's there, doesn't it? There it is. There it is. There he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, I keep getting told I'm not allowed to get that tattoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Molly. Um, <laughs> have you listened to Patty Smith? I've not listened to it yet, no. Have you? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's good, yeah. You like it? It's a good album. Yeah. I get the influence I think for, behind I think, it. I think the first track's the best album, the best song on the track, but a good good, good lineage. I get the influence. Words. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But she probably, it was probably because, she, influential again, because 
you know, in 75, people thought, hey, Pay Smith, what's she doing here? And then, you know, you got people like Kate Bush who come along mm. and you got mm. people like Susan the Banshees and, and, and what's her name, Polly in from X Ray Specs. And they probably followed her and prob- yeah. probably followed suit and thinking, wait, we can all do this, you know, and Blondie. Yeah. So there was all, she was very, yeah. Influential in that because that mm-hmm. was pre punk, really. If yeah, you like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. punk 77, this was 75, so mm. you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, number six, Jimi Hendrix experience. Are you experienced? Well, you're, were you're the Jimi Hendrix yeah. Yeah. aficionado, so yeah, it's a banging album. You ever listened to it? Yeah, yeah, banging well, album. Well, were they? When we well talking about they. impact and influence, yeah. Well, of course, well, enough said. Enough said. <laughs> he, 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 he told talk about he, Jimi, Jimi Hendrix's influence on the, on the yeah. planet. And his short burst of existence as well. Three years, wasn't it? 1967, years, died in 1970. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it? If you ask, if you ask, I'd be like, he was around for oh. 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the impact that he had on the world mm-hmm. and yeah. music, even yeah. now, even today, Phenomenal. he's still yeah. influencing what is, and impacting What if somebody came, somebody came to the shop and um, on, on Saturday, didn't they? They were talking to you about Jimi Hendrix and they were saying about, and you were saying, I aspire to be like Jimi Hendrix. And the yeah. first thing he said was, are you doing the thumb? Doing the thumb thing. <laughs> are you doing the thumb? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he lobs his thumb over the guitar. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. E and the A string. Because yeah. he has mm-hmm. massive thumb and his massive yeah. little Are you thing doing there. the thumb bit? And you're like, yeah, yeah, of course I'm, I'm trying. trying. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> trying. <laughs> Give me a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I've got a guitar in my hand. Yeah, he deserves to be in the top ten, though, doesn't he? Exactly. Mm, I think. think? So. Yeah, I th- definitely. Yeah. Without for, that, for, for, for influence, definitely. For, for just, just to you know. So how many, how many albums did he have? Three. Was it just three? Yeah. yeah. Electric Lady Lady Land. Boulder's Love. Yeah. And Electric Lady Land. Yeah. Wow. And load of and load of posthumous stuff. Load of yeah. yeah load of live stuff. Yeah. But it all came out after he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Band of Gypsies came out wow. uh, in 1970, which was a jam. A uh, three people jam, but other yeah. than that. Mm. That's it. Yeah, yeah, man. That is it. That is it. Um, number seven, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish's debut. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Have you listened to it? Um, I thought you were asking a question then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it the one with, uh, what's it called on it? Uh, Bad Guy. Yeah. Yep. Is it that album? Uh, Bad Guy. And it's got um, the the other one. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, don't don't you know it's so good for me? I can't remember what it's called. Have you listened to it? Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, it's unbelievably good. Yeah. I I actually prefer a second album though. I haven't heard it, so <laughs> I can categorically say that I don't. I just I don't like the sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Have you heard it? I've not, but <laughs> I struggle. To, I I really struggle when anything new yeah. overtakes history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. I used to like when people were going about f- football, for example, and Jude Be- Jude Bellingham's mm-hmm. the the best of the best. I'm like, what, Bobby Charlton? Uh, yeah. What, Paul Gascoigne? What? Do you know Bobby Charlton? Bobby Charlton didn't even make the top ten Man United players of all time. Bobby Charlton didn't. You're thinking, oh, who's making this list? Same people who are making this flipping top <laughs> yeah. ten. Somebody the who likes the Ramones, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I really struggle to. So for me to be on one of these defining lists, you've got to be, a bit like old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't. It can't. It needs to have a backstory, a credible, you know, like I a, yeah. Yeah. history you behind can, it. You can make impact. People can make impact quickly. And she did have. She. Did have a Billy Eilish, yeah, she? Is yeah. It has and maybe it's five years enough though. Like nah. it's only five years old. Like I'd say, I'd say Ed Sheeran has made would be more shouldn't be in there, but more of a credible That's impact on me. Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. But only just I don't know how long Ed Sheeran's actually been around when I think about it. It's One of those things that I'd say like so twenty twelve. Twenty twelve is his first album, I think. Wasn't yeah, it? so yeah. I'd say maybe before twenty ten. But at the same time, he's he's too new. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when did this come out? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. And that year, let me get this right. Twenty nineteen. Yeah, she headlined Glastonbury. Did she? Yeah. In twenty nineteen. Wow. That was the year because was it Billie Eilish that did the James Bond? Th- yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah. did that. Was it twenty nineteen that she was there? She's definitely headlined Glastonbury, isn't she? Yeah, she, she has. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it wouldn't have been the second time when I was Paul McCartney and. The others. It was... Guns yeah. Roses? No. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. And, and then it started, Then it was COVID, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, 2019, she headlined Glastonbury. Wow. Yeah. I swear well, it was. I it's, it's very, it was very cheeky of her because 
she calls this her debut album, but she had an EP, an EP out. Um, With 36 songs on it. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Nine tracks. Right. Oh, that's an album. That's, Sorry, yeah. That's, an EP is five or less. And and the Maybe. and the EP was like, had some really, really good songs on it. So like, no, like really good. 2022. 2022. When yeah. she headlined. But yeah, go on, as you were saying. But yeah, um, so it's a bit cheeky though. I think, I think, I think anything over seven tracks, I think you can class as an album. Yeah, I think so. Oh, definitely. An EP to me is maximum six tracks. Mm. Yeah, nine yeah. tracks is three on each it. side. Yeah, that's an yeah. album. Yeah, um, yeah. Got to fit it on a ten inch. It's not yeah, on a yeah. ten inch. EPs, yeah. EPs are all ten inch in my head. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, my, <laughs> that's that's the way I think of it. If, if yeah, that's going to yeah. be really bad quality. <laughs> if if you cut if you fit nine tracks on an e, on an, on, a, yeah. on a ten inch. Yeah, but oh, yeah, that EP was twelve inch EP. <laughs> no, I was that's what, I'm sure the best of Elvis was um, had ten songs on it, didn't it? That was a ten inch. There yeah, are yeah, exceptions. <laughs> there are exceptions. <laughs> Does it? So you? Yeah, I have listened to it. Not only on the way to yeah, Glastonbury yeah. when we went. Is it worthy of being number seven? Are there do, only do, do, six do, do. better ever? Yeah, there's only six better. Well, five of them. <laughs> yeah, five of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I've got I've got eight better that aren't on that list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I can't think of I can't think of a an album that's been released in the past 10 years that would match that that would match that yeah. like All right. like maybe maybe the, there's maybe a couple if i if i really thought about it but if i thought about like like debut albums in the past 10 years that's that's a, that that is a killer album that's yeah. Last, yeah so to come out with that as your first one yeah she did, you've, she you've done, done well it again down where you do that that you delve into it Say a few reason things and then, it. yeah, reason with it. And then it make me go, oh yeah, he's right actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, of, of all, but, we're talking about of all time. Yeah. Like, and recorded music. Exactly, been, all time, I think. All time. Yeah, recorded music's been was, around for... Was life for, before Billie Eilish. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. It's for like, uh, 90 years. There wasn't life before, there wasn't, there wasn't life before Rock and Roll number one. 22nd yeah. of March, 1963. Yeah. Okay. Three days it, ago, wasn't it? Three days ago. Yeah. From when we're recording this podcast, yeah, not yeah. from when it goes out. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a yeah. clue. <laughs> Six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Number eight. Um, I think one that we can all agree on. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd... Banging I mean, album. I wouldn't... If you said, Tom, what's your top three, de- top ten debut albums, I wouldn't put it in there because it's not my thing. Yeah. But I completely... Same with Jimi Hendrix, actually. Yeah. But I completely understand and... Well deserving of the place. We, we listened to it on the album away. Uh, album. We haven't. I've, I've listened to it loads. I'm sure, it was on the album. On album a day, we only listen to albums that I've never listened to. Yeah, I've listened. What to did, what did we listen to it Have you ever listened to it? Appetite yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it is. Oh, it's great. Yeah, album. I've listened great to it. Great album. I've Superb listened to album. It. First track. It's fantastic. Who's this band? Guns and Roses. Yeah. Straight out of the bat. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Paradise yeah, you City. You shouldn't do that. Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. No, you can't. You yeah, can't, you, you, you Sweet Child of Mine's do, on there. Yeah. You can't do that, can you? As Ain't a right. debut album. That, that. Come. So what's Billy Eilish put on hers? That's, that, that Wembley Stadium are shouting the lyrics back at. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, that's where I, yeah, yeah. That's where I, I think of. Yeah. Are the kids wearing the t-shirts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, are, they are they shouting it back at 100,000 people shouting it? Are they asking us in the shop, is it the, is it the band sleeve or is it the cross sleeve? Yeah, exactly. Has it got the stickers yeah, yeah. in? Yeah. 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 Still Poster. talking about it yeah. now. When we what, started this, we were all about it 87? Posters. 85, wasn't it? Was it? Um, this was uh, 1987. Yeah. 87, yeah. Yeah, 87, yeah. July 21st. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, banging album. Yeah, I think, I think, we'll, I think, think I think, personally, I think it definitely deserves to be there in the top 10. Yeah. yeah. As you said, like, it shouldn't be that good as a, as a no, debut album. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's really, really well, well and polished. Anything, it kind of, they didn't do an album as good as that ever again comparable really. to no. quite yeah. a few Usual bands, Illusion so. 1 and 2 they're alright they've got, got a couple of duff tracks on it Com- Spaghetti whatever Incident. it's into us and then <laughs> well, the Chinese, Chinese democracy Chinese democracy god yeah but yeah, then they did Glastonbury awful. last year didn't they they did Glastonbury last year you didn't enjoy it did you I didn't like it no I thought Slash but I thought if it wasn't for Slash it would you know yeah, yeah. Slash and he Slash <laughs> <laughs> and he don't even make the top 100 in guitarists <laughs> he's not even they're in the, the top 8 of greatest 
And oh, Slash isn't yeah. even in the but top. But can't we make the I mean, top hundred in guitarists? I mean, thinking, this, 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 oh, I've got angry again. We, yeah. we, are, we are absolutely, we are absolutely <laughs> ripping the end it because you just just didn't make any sense. Yeah, how yeah. Could, how could, yeah. How could Slash not be in the top one hundred? Yeah. of guitarists ever. But the album. Oh, isn't great, yeah, like they were trying album. to. <laughs> yeah, but Slash came on. Become a good yeah, album? Slash came on <laughs> that list become... when they were just trying to fill the last five spots. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's like, oh, we've got to get to fifteen. Slash, how did it become a good album? Great vocalist, great, great guitarist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it mm-hmm. end off, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Jeez. Go on. Yeah, for those... Um, Good bit of energy out of that. Yeah, for those that haven't listened to it, episode three, we talked about guitarists. Was it episode three? Some guitarists, like yeah, yeah, three yeah. or four. Go back and listen to it if you haven't listened to it. Then yeah. come back to this. Come back to... Then come back to the Slash now. reference, yeah. We're getting, we're getting t-shirts made of um, Tom's catchphrase, which is, better than Slash. <laughs> <laughs> We've had people say to that in the street, they're better than Slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the reviews yeah, I've had on... people um, pin me up against yeah. the wall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah. One of the reviews on Apple Podcasts was uh, was titled, Better Than Slash. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. And yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, cool. Number nine, The Clash. Self-titled. Again. I don't know about this. I don't know about this London, I love London Calling. Yeah. yeah. And if that was their debut album, I'd say yes. Bang on. Yeah. Bang on the money. Are they only there because of... London Calling. Yeah. No, there's, there's so no, many things. That's what I mean. There's so I, many things with these lists where they're there because of something else. I think. I think. I think. It's, I think Joe Strummer's influence on on the punk is yeah. is deserved of that. I really do. I think. I've, I've, I've listened I to think, this album. I think. No, I can't. I mean, when, I have. Hey, we, we went to see Chris. We went to see the Stiff Little Fingers, didn't we? Yeah. Right. And it was they. They were promoting the album uh, Guitar and Drum, mm. which is a which is a Great. banging album, right? And the whole album is is let's say a homage to Joe Strummer. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well there's a stage. Even got, even got even got a song, even got a song on there called Strummerville. There's a know? stage at Glastonbury called Strummerville. Yeah. And it's a stage dedicated to Joe yeah. Strummer. Yeah, that's well, all right, so, you're, so, in the, you're you're on the list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, so, got a stage so, then. so, 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 so the clash The Clash deserves to be there, but above Never mind the Bollocks? Mm, yeah. I yeah. When you I put it like that, that, I find that extremely hard to to, to swallow. The law. That's on there. Well, there's the, according to according to Wikipedia, there's two different versions. There's a Ooh. there's the was it UK and America? Yeah, yeah UK still. version which doesn't have I fought the law, ah. and then um, there's the US version which does have I fought the law. Oh, it's it's okay. a cover, isn't it? It's an old yeah. Obviously, them in it. Uh, Bobby Fuller Four, I think, sang that right, first. Um, 1966, I think. Right. I think you're wrong. Hey. <laughs> It's what? I think you're wrong. I know that Johnny Cash did it, didn't he? Um, who does it say is the original writer? The original writer is a guy called Sonny Curtis. Sonny Curtis. Bobby Fully Four was the original one. Bobby Fuller Four, yeah. Yeah. Sonny Curtis uh, was with? Sonny Curtis was with? Go on. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy Ollie, wasn't he? The Crickets. Was oh, right, yeah, cool. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Clash. I've, anyway, I've, I've never, I've, I've nice. never listened to I love it. Stuff like that and this, <coughs> this podcast. You know, it goes off like that, and I just tennis. Yeah, yeah. No body Ollie. So here you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. Not give the no. What? We're fine. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad that's okay. Caleb. Your, your, your nephew Sonny, named after Sonny Curtis. There you Is go. It? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there you go. go. Got it. Um, your nephew. Is our cousin? Oh yeah, my nephew. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's what I yeah, sorry, yes. Um, yeah, it's my nephew, and he, of course, he is. Yeah, personally, I've never listened to the Clash. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out to me. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard London London Calling, but the Clash uh, I've never self-titled. To the self-titled debut. Yeah, so I think I should probably, sh- I probably should listen to it. Um, but yeah, I've ne- I've never heard it, so okay. can't can't um. I, can't I have No, I, I I think if it was London, like you say, if it was London Calling, then. Bang on! We'd be on. Yeah. We'd be on number eleven now because we'd have been that quick on. Yeah, the clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah, it should be in there. Yeah. yeah, and finally, the one that shocked us, the one that you guys have listened to, mm. um, Liz Fair, Exile in Guyville. This did shock us, didn't it? As in to the core of well, our yeah. very soul. <laughs> when um, when we did the video, we'd never. I'd never even heard of Liz Fair. No, nope. I can categorically yeah. say I've never heard of her. Didn't even. Yeah. And we got slated because we hadn't heard of her. No. But it turns out she was quite big in America. Yeah. And not so big in the UK. No. Yeah. So that's our kind of excuse. Well, I did I did, right. I did, I did some research um, and um, it came out in 2018, right, in England and made number 92 
in the charts. Right. Oh, right. right. But it came out originally in America in 1993. Yeah. Right. So, so 15 years later. So of course. No. 20. What's the word in there? In true rocker by style, right? We went and bought the album, didn't we? Yeah. Well, wanted to listen to it on vinyl. Yeah. I bought it and it. I, I, I put it I, in me album yeah, day. I bought it. I bought it from on, on vinyl. I thought, do you know what? I need. I don't want to listen to this on on on, on, on Spotify. I will listen to it how it was originally pressed. And Liz, I do apologise if you're watching or if you're listening. <laughs> I thought it was shocking. Yeah. When I first heard it, I thought. Oh my goodness! You, you are welcome on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are welcome if you're watching. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, it was it was rubbish. I right. didn't like yeah. it. Right, and I think the main thing that I I didn't like about it was the production. Right. Okay. Yeah, and I've said this on I've said this on the TikTok. I said I said that I had to check my stylus that it didn't have fluff on it because yeah. it was so bad it was muffled it was like it was it was rushed mm. and it was recorded in a shed do you know what I mean yeah. it was yeah. horrible and it's just like get this I have and I thought do you know what I'm going to give this another go and I played it again and still didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just, yeah. Oh god, I love that line. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'll I've, to I've it had it. Well. I've had it on four times in the shop, and it, and Why? and it, yeah, because <laughs> because I want to know what what I want to know why it's number ten, mm. and I want to know why Elvis supposed to record them all eight in the top one hundred. Yeah. I think it's a. I think it's an absolute joke that it's sitting at number ten. Yeah. When you got the lights, above, please, please, please me. Name, Come on, above, I please, can, please, better than Beatles. Slash. <laughs> yeah. We. I listen to it as well. Listen to it with my headphones on, and it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It is. You say that you didn't like the production. I don't like the songs. I don't no. like her voice. No. I don't yeah. like the production. No. I don't like anything of it. No. <laughs> it doesn't no. have any because redeeming when, feature. No, because when you when you think when you think that it is voted number ten of the greatest debut albums of all time ever ever, ever. every single one yeah. yeah every single one ever Dan go from number twenty. Down to number eleven, please. Yeah, and then sure. we'll then we'll then we'll we'll give it a thumbs up or. A... Okay, so twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot I, see that. You know, I, I saw what? that on the front <laughs> screen. This one just coming up. I saw it on the front screen. I was going to say, is that really there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Is it is um, it is it Will Young's debut album? Jedwood. You're, you're not you're not far off. Um, May as well be. It's Cardi B Invasion of Privacy. That's it. I like it. At like number twenty. That. Never listened to right. it. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll wait for my daughter to turn about, I don't know, fifteen to eighteen, and play it. Yeah, yeah. Once through <laughs> her phone before I batter it out of her hand. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out to Maisie. Hey, we shouldn't judge. <laughs> we shouldn't. We shouldn't judge things before we before no, we listen no, to no, them. Okay, so I um, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the like general. It. The general. Yeah. The general nerf. consensus. I don't really like music that Cardi B's put out, but cool. as, as an album, album, it might as an be album, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People might only be listening to the uh, to the stuff that's charted, and that's the worst stuff. She might have done like some kind of concept jazz album that's it's like, like, yeah. like un unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I bet she's got B sides. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you say that because because the only songs that charted on the Revolver album were Eleanor Rigby and, and Yellow, Yellow, Sub Yellow Submarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you you go to listen to Yellow Submarine. I tell you, it's a great track. And yeah, then yeah. What a minute! This is rubbish. Yeah. You know, yeah. awful song. Especially as Revolver's a rock album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is a rock album, you're right. Uh, number 19, Joy Division, Unknown Pleasures. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah. Great album. Great album, got to be yeah. honest, I'd have it in there, yeah. It deserves th it deserves to be in the top 20. I, I think, I think, yeah. I think it deserves to be in the top 20. I think a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people would agree with that. Um, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Bill, what did that say? First line? Um, Breathtaking nine, so it was punk. What the Dad, Velvet Underground and Nico was to Psychedelia. Yeah, yeah. So... You get the whole Velvet Underground influence, yeah. When you come to Joy Division, that sort of thing, yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, the Strokes is this it? Oh, we had that we on, on Saturday. Had that on didn't Saturday. We? Sold one on Saturday. Brilliant. And yeah. just, just have you listened to it? And is just it because it? I don't know if I have, you know. the guy bought oh. it, the guy bought the original Rough Trade right, album. Street, he well, listened to the whole album before yeah. he bought yeah. it. Didn't I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wanted to listen to it. Superb album. album, absolutely yeah. brilliant, yeah. absolutely great. Deserves to be in the top twenty, definitely. Julia Casablanca and what's his name, Robert Hammond Jr. Uh, it's Albert. Velvet Underground again. Why, why did they say there? Albert Hammond. They're yeah. trying to justify why it was in the top ten. Um, we'll probably <laughs> start it. updating the population of Velvet Underground and Jangle of Seventies Punk with Casablanca's yeah, so again, acidic dispatches. Yeah, strokes. It goes back to Velvet Underground mm. again. 
Are they just justifying it though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Steel Pulse. Do you know Steel Pulse? Yeah. Reggae. Yeah. Um, Handsworth Revolution. Never ne- listened to it. No, never listened to it either. Not for me. No. Number seventeen. Oh, that yeah. one is. Um, Madonna's self-titled. Nineteen eighty-three. Um, with like a virgin on, and no, that wouldn't be that one, would it? Like a virgin, self Oh, not. sorry, sorry, it's not. Um, oh, it's, a book, it's got, yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's got holiday, yeah, um, borderline, yeah, um, everybody, yeah, massive that's the one. influence on music, Madonna. Oh, yeah, um, huge, yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah, I can understand her being, yeah, she'd Definitely. probably be a little bit higher, yeah, if anything, yeah, yeah, 16 is almost, almost harsh, yep. Another one I've not heard, Eric B and Rakim, um. Paid in full. Crikey, that's that's, like that's 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 a that's a eighties rap. That's that hard is, to it? take in. Yeah. Have you listened to that? Yeah, that's 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 a. Yeah, I can see where they're coming from on that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Do you like you, your, you your eighties rap? <laughs> well, no, eighties rap. It's 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 you know it's it's very. It says it's one be- of the first hip hop records. Yeah, very very Beastie Boysy and yeah, first yeah, hip hop yeah. records to fully embrace seventies funk samples yeah. on Stone classics such as. There you go. I know you got soul. Yeah. Yeah, very very. I could deal with that. I could, very I could very get into that. Yeah, sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah. very Della Soul and stuff like that. Della, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Um, number fourteen, the one that you said, uh, the band music from Big Pink. Yeah. Um, that's a great album, I think. Yeah, yeah. I haven't listened to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, um, we've got loads to listen to, haven't we? This really year? good. Flipping egg. Well, oh. good job. Is it? Well, good job Eric Clapton. Yeah. Eric Clapton. Oh, heard, Eric Clapton heard heard music from Big Pink, and he said, "Do you know what? That's done with cream. Yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to now go and hand over to these. Yeah, hand over to these because this is this 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 is this is this is music. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's the next stage music. Next stage. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, number thirteen, Frank Ocean, Channel Orange. Have you listened to it? Oh, oh my god, it have is. I, I listen to it, yeah, yeah. I reckon I listen to it at least once a year. Yeah, modern, modern Maybe kind more. of R and B. Um, I don't know what is it. Well, John Mayer features on it, doesn't he? Yeah, that's why just, I listen to um, it. And really, really beautiful. And then Frank Ocean features on John Mayer stuff as well. Right, okay. Um, yeah. But I it just atmospheric hip hop. Yeah, yeah, it's it, like, really? yeah, um, yeah. Be- beautiful, beautiful album. Kind of D'Angelo esque. Yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. D'Angelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, clips. Who? Lord Willing. The the album's called. Again, it looks Pusha like a. T. Yeah, I know that name. He's um, twin brothers Pusha T and Malice. He's gangster rap as well, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. For holding the rap world, yeah. Again, never no. listen to it. No, no. And then finally, number eleven is REM Murmur, nineteen eighty three. Again. Yeah, I went on holiday to our, our honeymoon to Turkey, and they did a. Through the decades, uh, act very very Turkish holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elvis. Yep. Um, was the seventies, but it was like Vegas right, Elvis. Yeah, yeah. And it was Vegas Elvis. Fair play to him. Eighties, Michael Jackson. Yeah. The nineties, REM. Really. Is what they went the with. 90s That's what they, things. That's what he went with. Yeah, they they sat there and went. 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're on about REM, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what they went with. REM. Well, wow. okay, another album I've listened to. 1983. I didn't realise they'd been going that long. 83. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blimey. They were REM. You know, were very, very close to being the Friends theme tune. Theme tune instead of the Rembrandt. Really? Uh, Shiny Happy People. Mm-hmm. Wow. In fact, the pilot had the normal Friends. Um, you know the waterfall scene and yeah, yeah. whatever else. Two shiny happy people by REM. Well, I have to find that. Yeah, yeah. crikey, that'd be on YouTube, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like two or three hours of me sitting there going yeah. through stuff, <laughs> and then looking. that's where you, all of a sudden you get it. Yeah, he's like, I've got to go to sleep now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's a very very random top twenty. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, do you? Yeah, mm. yeah. So what? So just. Quickly before we, what album would you have on as a, as a, as, a, as a, in in that top twenty? What would we put in our in mm. our list? Yeah, we should Ooh. go around. Name one. Should we go one by one? Just keep going round. Okay, yeah. I, 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 can, I was going to say I've got probably I've probably got a top ten that I could reel off that will never that never changes. Yeah, go on. Give us give us one. Uh, influential on me. So all this is on me. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not the world of music or yeah, anything yeah. else. Uh, Kasabian by Kasabian. Cool. Okay. Massive for me. Massive yep. for my life and 
Yeah. And our address, Leic- the, the Leicester City connection, everything else. Mm-hmm. There you go. Dad? Um, I would definitely have Please Please Me. Or in America, uh, it was called Introducing the Beatles. That is on the list. It's number 21. But please Please Whey. Me. Please Please... <laughs> 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 they got one right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the... For the impact that the Beatles had on the world yeah. and still are having on the world and the fact that I know that I know that half were covers and half were self penned, but nah. The Beatles should be there. Yeah. In the they should be in the top three. Yeah. They should be because of the because of the just the pure impact. You know, I was I was watch I was flicking through some records yesterday in the shop and I found this album by a an American band called the Knickerbockers, right? right? And I thought, who the hell are these? Right? I put it on, and 1966, I thought it was the Beatles. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought it was the Beatles in, 60, in, in, in in the Cavern days, in 63, right? Also, there's an album here that we've got um, called um, Something Heroes, and it's on Decca, and you listen to stuff like... Um, Joe Cocker's first song was a Beatles cover. Mm-hmm. You listen to um, the Big Three; they did some other girl, uh, and it's Beatles esque. You listen to um, Pet Sounds, yeah, that's inspired by Rubber Soul, yeah, yeah, isn't it? And then, yeah. but you but you listen to you listen to the Please Please Me. It it changed. I've said this about Elvis. Elvis changed everything, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and the Beatles changed. The sixties music forever. Even be, even Elvis took a back seat in the sixties. Yeah, he did. He goes right. I'm going to go, 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 go join the army. I'm going to yeah. go and make some. I'm, I'm going to make, make some, some, make some crap films because yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this for a moment because the I Beatles. Can't I can't compete with Vegas with this. to turn around about yeah. sixty eight. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I can't compete with this. Yeah. And that was how influential the Beatles. Please please me is in my eyes. In my in my eyes, I do love the the Beatles and Elvis story of the meeting. Have you? I don't know if I've told you it the one I've heard or you've maybe even yeah. told me it but it was when uh, they, they fl- the Beatles fly over to America and they go oh Elvis Elvis we've we've hired a we've hired a private we had a private jet to, to get over here uh, and come and see you and he went that's cute I own mine <laughs> <laughs> that's good cool. yeah it's yeah. Paul McCartney yeah yeah, yeah. nice yeah, what funny. a guy <laughs> um me, yeah, uh, I could name oh, flipping loads. Are we going to keep na- going? I can name. Yeah, a few I think. I, should we just, should we just, just bang them name out? them? And if you oh. got a quick line about it, and then Oasis, yeah. definitely, maybe. Okay, yeah, hands down, one of the greatest debut albums ever. Influential yeah. on your life. <coughs> oh yeah, influential on uh, everyone's life who's probably the age of thirty mm. and over. Yeah, well, yeah. between thirty and fifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'm fifty-seven. And I'm, I'm still. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Done. Um, songs about Jane, Maroon Five. Ooh, nice, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. One, one of the best debuts ever. Like how how they can come out with that straight away. Like how how bloody good that album is. <laughs> like such such good music on that album. Yeah. Um, I've got it on the CD in the car, and every now and then my Bluetooth will break and put it on and forget how good it is. Mm. Just so so good. Yeah. You will be loved. Great song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She Absolutely, will be loved. yeah, uh, banging, well written. This, this love, and um, yeah, yeah. Good I'm, still, awesome. I'm still surprised they played this love on yeah. the radio because it's a bit, it's a bit. I think it's a bit rude. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. we won't go into the rudeness because we want right. to keep it clean, don't we? Um, go on, keep going. How about this? Madness, one step beyond. Ooh, ooh, good one. I um, yeah, grew up, grew up slash dragged up. You listen to this. Yeah, it was like that. One step beyond the Prince, not about to Cairo, my girl. Yeah, there's an EP. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Tarzan's nuts. Yeah, better breakfast man. I, I listened to it again today. Cause I, 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 I um, I saw the TikTok about debut albums, and I thought I'm pretty sure One Step Beyond is Madness's debut album. Mm-hmm. It was, and I thought you know I'm gonna just do that straight through. And uh, yeah, what a fantastic album, iconic sleeve as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool. cool. Okay, um, I will go with um, stick on the two tone thing. Special specials. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. Was my one if nobody yeah. else. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true rock and roll style. Special specials. Fantastic cool. album. Yeah. Um, this one, I think you'll agree with me on this one. One of so when we did the um, debut albums thing, one of the the comments that was the most of Boston by Boston. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
unbelievable debut album. Boston by Boston. Super furry animals. No, Boston. (laughs) And even a story that goes with it, how um, the guitarist, can't remember his name, he essentially built all the recording stuff in his basement to record this debut album. And then the record company, he had all these demos. He sent to the record company. He goes, yeah, we really want to take you up on this. And can you come into the studio to record them? And he's like, not really, because I've kind of built my studio here and I'm quite happy with the sound. Um, So he never did but he did send his session musicians over to pretend like they were recording yeah, the yeah, album. Yeah. Like, just to pretend, like, you just go fool them, just pretend, I'm going to carry on working on it, the actual album, the actual album. And then when they got back with the thing that they'd recorded in the studio, he just broke it up and goes, yeah, we ain't using that, because I've, I've done the album. And the album that you listen to now is the one that recorded in the basement. Unbelievable. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that. Yeah, yeah. that's great. We should do a whole episode on it, but the whole album is wicked. Mm. Yeah, nice. Boston. Cool. Um, oh, what did I have? Uh, Pure Heroin by Lord. Mm. You ever listened to Pure Heroin? No. Their debut album from 2013, 2014. No. Oh, absolutely. It's like, do you know? What? I don't. I don't know whether. I don't know whether it's just because it, I've got like really, really good memories of it. Like, it was. It was a big album for me when I was traveling. And it was a big album for me when um, me and my me and my wife Mary were first first getting together, and we used to you know take take long drives together, and she used to have it on. And it is a beautiful, beautiful album, like really, like well crafted. And again, just one of them albums. Like, how can you how can you be what like seventeen years old or eighteen years old and come out with like an album that good mm, and yeah. like that that beautiful and um yeah it's one of mine and i think it's on this list actually i think it's number 100 yeah i think i saw it right at the top um yeah i'll f- I'll, f- I'll find it Fine. i think i think it's number 100 yeah. there it is oh nice um so yeah 20 2013 yeah i think it's just i think it's just one of them things yeah i don't know whether it'll be on everyone else's list um but it is it's it's a really beautiful album all right i've got a question for you just a little off-topic question, but staying on topic. The worst debut album of a band that you love. So a band that you love or a band that you like or an artist that you like, but their debut album was actually awful and they got better over time. Ooh, Ooh have a think about okay. that. Huh? I know you're going to say, I reckon. Now go on. The Verve. Yeah. Good shout. First album. Um, the Verve. I, yeah. Yeah. And I think, were they just called Verve then as well? Don't and know. then they had to met, become the Verve, <laughs> right. or the other way around. Yeah. yeah anyway, yeah. Urban Hymns is my favourite album of. Well, definitely the nineties. It is uh, main. It stays in that sort of top five albums ever. The Verve's first album. I signed up to one of them record box. We'll send you a box every month of random records, mm. and um, you could pick one that you guarantee get. And I was like, I got the first first time. I'll just get that. Yeah, yeah. And got it. I played it, and I just thought. This isn't the verve that I love. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Yeah, good shout. That's the a verve. good one. And then over time, Northern Soul who comes out, gets a little bit more towards what we want, and then um, Urban Hymns is exactly what we want. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously there's little bits in between, and then Orph has got all of his noise on it, and that's yeah. about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got a controversial one um, of a singer that I absolutely have a lot of time for um, but I have no idea what the heck he was playing at right right when he when he recorded Wonderwall um, I'm not talking about Oasis Wonderwall George Harrison George Harrison George Harrison's yeah. Wonderwall oh, right yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I have I agree with no that. idea you what his solo yeah, album yeah, yeah. what he was playing at when he was right. recording that. And I know, there's, I know that. we've got some yeah. lovely, we've got some, we've got some George Harrison fans out there, but got some in here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. When, when we did, when we did the, when we did the, uh, the, the worst five, one, the, one of my least favourite Beatles album yeah, yeah. Uh, songs. Um, George Harrison had written three of them of mm. my, you know, what favourite. But, but when you listen to All Things Must Pass. And then you listen to Wonderwall. It's like chalk and cheese, mm-hmm. you yeah. know. So it could Wonder- have been someone else. Yeah, it could have been someone else. Yeah, it's not but George I'll, Harrison at all. But I also, no, but I also, but I also, and you, you, you like this album. You did, but the Doors. 
Oh, right? Yeah. The Doors' first album is nowhere near as good as Morrison Hotel. You know, I don't think it is anyway. Personally. <coughs> Doors. Um, might be Pink Floyd. What? Their first album. What, um, Part of the Gates of Dawn? Part of the Gates of Dawn, Part yeah. of the Gates of Dawn's an excellent album. <laughs> it's not Pink Floyd as we know it, No, it's it, though, not, because it? it has Sid Barrett in I there, know, didn't it? No, but I didn't like it. Yeah. I've listened to it. We had it on in here, didn't we? Oh, it's a superb album. We had it on to because there was a bit of a mark on a record, weren't it? So you yeah. put the album on just to see if it plays through the mark. Yeah. I was like, bloody hell is this? I know. Yeah, I couldn't get on with it. Yeah. No. I couldn't get on with it. I much prefer... I've got a bike. You can ride it if you'd like. It's a- yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is that? That's... And then, what is it, five years later you're doing Dark Side of the Moon and yeah. Comfortably Numb and that well, sort of thing. Well, yeah, you're doing Wish You Were Here, right? Yeah. Uh, 78, that was, wasn't it? Off the wall. Was the wall, yeah. yeah. There you go. There's three yeah. amazing albums. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just me, though. Yeah, go on. Uh, Billy Joel's first album. Ooh. Yeah. Um, what, Cold really Spring Harvest. Spring Har- yeah. Whatever Spring, it is. Spring, Spring Harbor. Has he got a moustache on it or something? Yeah, no, he's, he's got a beard and he, and he looks, Black looks and white. like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then... Like a few years later, it comes out with The Stranger and then Innocent Man and then Turnstiles. <laughs> and you're like, Where'd that come from? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why and, did you bother uh, in the first one? We should go straight to the yeah. second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait a bit, mate. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, picked, I picked up Billy Joel's first album a couple of weeks ago by an by in, it was in a band called The Hassles. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's very psychedelic. I was, I was here when we were listening yeah. to it, yeah. Yeah, very, yeah. very weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And he's, and, he's, and he's penned the stuff as um, William Joel, hasn't he? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Let's get into that. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But yeah, the Cold Spring, what's it called? Cold, Cold Spring, Spring Harbour. Cold Spring Harbour, yeah, yeah couldn't, couldn't get on with it. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's um, that'd be that'd be my list. Nice. Um, yeah, cool. I've got, I've got I've got loads of honourable mentions. I could, oh, I could, yeah. I could oh, go yeah, on, I could go on Bonnie, for eight. Yeah, yeah. Bon Iver. I could, I could, yeah. I could list that forever. Limines. Stereophonics will get. Oh, Stereophonics will get around because it's, yeah. it's definitely my, in my top. It's definitely my top five. Yeah. Um, um, Grace Jeff Buckley. Grace Jeff Buckley. I was just seeing which um, which album Bruce Springsteen's one was because I couldn't remember. Uh, Greetings from Asbury Park. Great album. It's awesome album. Yeah, yeah, come lovely. Out, come out the bat with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we could we could go on we for could ages. Go on for, yeah, you yeah. could. We? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of old stuff, a lot of new stuff as well. So yeah, um, yeah we could we could go on forever. forever. So yeah, thank you very much, gents. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Thank oh, you. yeah. yeah. Fun. I think we cleared up um, what what we thought of the the, uh, the Rolling Stone list. and um, I think we should get people to comment on what they think. Their, is their... Greatest debut as well. Yeah, yeah. And, we and had where, where, we've gone, where we've gone wrong and just, just yeah, point out yeah. that you, you know nothing boys at rock a yeah. You know, this fair's awesome. You're talking <laughs> yeah, yeah. crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, I think um, a lot of people were saying that Liz Fair album um, was was uh, was a big thing in America and I think that was that's where we've probably gone wrong. Yeah. And I think, I think it was probably of the time thing because I, I've read a lot of comments on that, on that post that people were saying I've just re-listened to it and I remember it being amazing. At I've just time. re-listened to it and yeah. what were we listening to? Yeah. What drugs were we on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> to, yeah. uh, to, to like that kind and, of thing. Yeah. It maybe had its time and then mm. yeah. hasn't aged well. Yeah. It was of its time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so maybe was, maybe, um, maybe, just, maybe it just was, a, was, was that kind of thing. So yeah, thank you very much again for listening, guys. Um, on a, on a off, off the record, um, we... Try to put this out every week, every Monday. Um, we uh, it's always a, always the same people. Um, try to uh, unless we've got a unless we've got a special guest on. Um, so yeah, you can listen to all of our previous previous episodes on Spotify, Apple Apple Podcasts, Amazon, wherever you enjoy your thing. Watch us on YouTube as well. Um, and we uh, we've got a website if you want to visit rockabyrecords.co.uk um, where we sell merchandise. Uh, we've got a few of our newer records on the website which you can buy as well. We do worldwide shipping, and um, yeah, you can you can you can have a have a browse on there. If you want to support the shop anymore, just uh, just go onto our social medias and give us a like, give us a follow, uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we'd be very much appreciative of, uh, of all your support. And, um, because like we said at the start, we do this for the love of it. Um, but it's you guys that, that make it, that make it worthwhile for actually tuning in and listening to it. Um, so once again, thanks, Chris. Well, thanks, thank Tom. You. Thank you. Thanks, dad. Um, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, Dan. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. <laughs>